ahora vamos hasta Phoenix, Arizona para el test drive de la nueva Ford Edge 2015 que hicimos con Melanie Battenchuk de vcarchic.com Hey Javier. Nice to see you again. Too. Thanks for having me. We uh, talked on the radio show a few weeks ago, but I haven't right. seen you in a while. Since last year, I think, right? Since before the, the new year, that's right. We were in uh, Lake Tahoe with Kia, and now we're in Arizona with Ford. Yes. The new Ford Edge. So, um, you just drove part of it. Uh, yeah. A little bit. Huh? What What's your first impression? I was really impressed with uh, how the uh, the twin scroll four cylinder the is little handling. engine the little engine <laughs> is is handling the the hills and the hill climbs really well um, very smoothly. So yeah, so that's the the four cylinder two liter mm -hmm. EcoBoost engine, and really for a big car like this, I mean it's more than enough, huh? Yeah, and it's the it's the replacement for the old EcoBoost engine and it's going to come stock on, on the new Ford Edge, so yeah, they're really the making new, a transition. Yeah, that's the new standard uh, engine for this car. And they were saying last night that uh, a lot of people still want the V6, but I think it's just because it's big. <laughs> I think there's still that, uh, that stigma of having a four-cylinder even, yeah. even today. Um, and they said, in, uh, because Ford is on a global platform and they build yeah. all their vehicles for the global markets, uh, the fuel flexible fuel capability of that V6 engine is, uh, they said it's attractive in South America market. Yeah, and I think they got a little a bit of uh, criticism also with uh, when they put this engine, which is a little bit, no, the 2.7 I think is a, we're still a four cylinder in the Mustang. And people say, what? A, oh, four, yeah. a four cylinder Mustang? I don't mind that. I know, it sounds a little weird to have yeah. a sports car with a four cylinder engine, but it's amazing what they're able to do with the turbocharging yeah. uh, today and, and you really don't sacrifice that much performance and you gain a lot, you yeah. gain the fuel economy. So things changing. So this car is pretty cool. This this one is yeah. the sport now. We're in and the sport. Then, uh, I mean, it takes a while even because it's so big. It's big panoramic, <laughs> panoramic roof back sunroof, here. Yeah. Nice for Arizona well, when it's cloudy like more. this. Might be yeah. a little hot in yeah, the summertime. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to come in the summer. To me, it's, <laughs> this is a good time to come to Arizona and drive this car. So now we're in the Sport, and this is a completely different engine. Totally different. The 2.7 two right Echo was also, which is like a lot of power again. Sounds good. Feels good. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good uh, job with this car. And uh, they were saying that this engine um, is, is built so compactly that it's able to be mounted transversely in the uh -huh. edge, whereas I think in maybe the F-150 it's Correct. mounted uh, the normal way. Yeah, so um, what are the things that you like about the car? I really like uh, what they've done with the interior design. They've spruced it up quite a bit. Um, it's not too fussy, which is... Mm -hmm important to me these days. Um, they've made a lot more soft touch features on the door panels, the dash, a uh, nice open center console area, so lots of room for the driver and the passenger, and quite a bit of room in the back seat. Uh, pretty yeah. impressive. They said the car is four inches longer. Uh-huh, 3.9. Yeah, about, about four inches longer, so they're not sacrificing that leg room in the back seat, which is a challenge in this segment. Yeah, this, been a, this has been a very popular car for Ford. They sell about 10,000 of these a month. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. That's and great. I, I, I mean, I, I knew it was popular. I didn't know this. Was, I didn't know the specifics, but yeah. uh, it's pretty impressive when you think 10,000 a month. And I and I don't think I see them. I notice them too much on the street. You will think yeah. they'll be everywhere, right? Maybe now we'll notice them more <laughs> yeah, after exactly. driving it. <laughs> yeah. So, Melanie, how do you like the new uh, dashboard? I mean, like they incorporated new materials. Yeah and like eliminated some buttons, added some buttons. And what, what do you think? I think there's like a little bit of wasted space on here, like these, these, I don't know. I agree, I think it's a, they said they wanted more tactile buttons, the consumer liked that. I like that too, I, I'm not a fan of the, the kind of weird touch button where you don't really know if it understood that you touched it to do something or <laughs> yeah sometimes that the old way is better than the new one huh? yeah and so i do like that they have more of the tactile buttons that you can memorize where they are without having to look at them i think that's important for keeping your focus on the road uh but i don't know that i would have selected these buttons and maybe the the placement there's probably a little wasted space here and you were talking about kind of some opportunity to have more things up here yeah, as like well. bigger screen i would love to see a bigger screen i always like a bigger yeah. screen anything <laughs> bigger the bigger the better right yeah exactly 
but it's good, I think. I mean, uh, I guess now they fix all the issues with the sync system and all that, so it's working fine. Yeah, this is uh, this is the new sync. I think it rolled out on the 2014 models, and they're expecting sync three to come out uh, at the end of this year on yeah. model 2016 models. And that's, I believe, they have a partnership with BlackBerry on that. I can't remember the specific. But BlackBerry still but, exists. <laughs> oh yeah, they still exist. You have one? No. I have not had one since I worked on Capitol Hill. <laughs> So, so one, one cool thing that it has is that like this huge, huge, huge compartment for the part. phone, and they can you can put like the big. Uh, I wish I had brought plus. my six plus to see just how like well, much I mean, extra you can, room you can, you is, can is there. That's great. Judge by the hand, it's like weighs all the way up here, so yeah. it's like more than enough. Maybe and you got two USB ports here to charge. You can charge your phone, two phones, your tablet. Um, there's a little compartment back here. Uh, passes through, so you can put high, high a wallet feature, yeah. or, or even a like an iPad Mini or some sort of little small tablet back there, and it's got that grippy rubber right there, so things won't slide around, which is nice. And there's a new um, compartment right here for hidden storage when you're not in the car, or you know you keep your key up there, your wallet for kind of quick access. Hopefully, you'll take the key because if you leave the key in the car, it's gonna be a problem. You don't want to leave the key in the car. The car won't lock if the key is in it. Yeah, some cars do park, they'll, they'll lock, I've seen when you park them and you leave the key inside, I think. Yeah. That can be a big problem. So I think so far our coolest, oh, you can't uh, You can't that. do it while you're driving. Okay, huh? we'll okay. do it next time when so we get the, there. This is not the airplane where you get the view of the front <laughs> exactly. of where you're flying. Air Force 380, yeah. <laughs> I do like that it has the heated and the cool uh, ventilated seats yeah. here in Arizona. I imagine that's a, the cool seats is a oh, really Miami. great feature. When you come and visit Miami, Miami, we can get yeah. they've done with the like the little details even like the door paneling yeah. like the way they they present things even the cup holders and the side mm -hmm. doors are like really well put together you can tell a lot of market research and, and consumer feedback went into making this new edge and they were talking a little bit about that yesterday and how how much the consumer's opinion has uh, positively impacted the, the things that have stayed the, st the same on the edge and the things that have that changed, has changed yeah. In the in the exterior, it's changed uh, quite a bit, I think. One thing that I'm not really crazy about, it but it's like the hood. I, that's the only thing I don't like about the car. I think these two it's bumps on the petite, top. Petite size driver. Yeah. It's a little tough to see over the hood. And the, 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 the cover of the dashboard here is a, way, a little bit too long, but I guess... But you do have that front 180 degree camera to help you out, so you, <laughs> you can, can see watch what's it. in front of you. <laughs> here it is. It's like one of the cool features about this car. A lot of technology. Lots of technology. There you go. I mean, you That's can right. watch the whole thing. It's incredible. Like, this little thing that... that they pack a lot of uh, technology in a, in a, 
affordable yeah. car. No, yeah, I mean, I, that was gonna, I, that was my next point. I mean, it starts around 24 and it goes all the way like close to 40. But when you add up everything that you get into the car, it's like a lot. Forty thousand dollars and you get all technology. That's the most you can spend on this car. It's very, very competitive um, in, in its segment, price-wise and feature-wise. And I think making the updates to the interior to make it a little bit more high-end feeling, and to the exterior making the the design a little more svelte, yeah. and uh, that's really going to be attractive to even a broader base than probably what is already loving that their own edges right now. So Ford claims that this car appeals exactly the same, 50% to females and 50% to males. And like they go to really specific things, like for example, the, the, the handle in at the, the door. door. And like there were like some research well, they that don't, you don't agree the, with that at all. I like to have a little compartment on the side. I'm not the woman that has the long fingernails all the time, so yeah. that doesn't bother me. I'd rather have a little a little compartment, but yeah. there's plenty of other storage in the car to kind of make up for that. Yeah, um, and I, I think, I mean, I like the car, I think especially the Sport. Uh, I would have uh, rather have a yellow color that I, I think like is really color. cool. Yeah, like. You want to be like, this is me in my <laughs> exactly. <edge." laughs> So this red color, I think it's, it's nice, but I think it's a little bit too serious for me. I don't know, but anyway. Excellent. So we're going to keep enjoying here uh, Arizona in the winter. It's still in winter now. We're getting close to spring. It's 90 degrees, but no, actually, it's only 66 here today, so it's kind of nice. So we're going to keep driving the 4H back to Phoenix, and um, hopefully I'll see you the next time Sounds somewhere good. else. Now, hopefully it's not another... Somewhere more. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So thank you, Melody. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Melody. 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 Hey,